The first operation in replacing a reed is removing the old or bad reed. In this case, we're going to assume that it's this reed. So now we will push out the rivet on the reed to be removed. To locate the uh, rivet under the punch like that. And close the punch and with a couple of turns like that the old rivet is pushed out and the red is free. The act of uh, pushing the rivet out may have raised a small burr on the red, so we'll give it a tap lightly with the hammer to uh, Flatten it out again. Now we'll scrape the bottom of the reed, the base, with a uh, <clears throat> a little scraper that is made from a by modifying a exacto blade and this will give us some nice uh, bright new metal on the bottom of the reed to which this Okay, any oxidized uh, brass is now scraped away. Now we put a piece of scotch tape on the bottom of the reed. This is a scotch tape, green label, still on the roll. And the bottom of the reed comes up to the adhesive side of the tape. Now we stick it on, just like that, tear off the tape. Now we'll trim the scotch tape using a, a number 11 exacto blade. We're going to trim it about a sixteenth of an inch away from both sides of the reed, like that. And that. and about an eighth of an inch across the end like that now we're going to trim out the corners of the scotch tape 
there and there so they won't bunch up when we push the uh, reed and the tape into the slot. There's one corner. And there's the other corner. Now you can see the shape of the scotch tape with the corners cut out. Now we'll turn our attention to the reed plate. Perhaps you can see in the picture there's a little burr around the rivet hole uh, that resulted when we pushed the rivet out. We're going to file that down and make it flat. This is a little flat jewelless file and we'll just give that a burr a few strokes to make sure it doesn't interfere with contact between the reed and the plate when we uh, solder it. You can almost feel when it goes flat. Now we're going to scrape the place where the pad will be soldered with our scraper to make sure that there's uh, fresh unoxidized metal where the reed will, where the solder will stick. Okay, that's all bright with the oxidized brass removed. Now we're going to put the reed plate on this little platform. It has a pin which is a good bit smaller than the rivet hole and a little brass platform to support the reed while we push the, I mean to support the plate while we push the reed into the slot. And we put it on just like that. It's loose so the, the plate can move around with respect to the pin. Now we're going to apply a tiny amount of paste solder that comes in this uh, syringe dispenser. It doesn't take very much. Just a tiny amount. And spread it around just a little bit on the base where the reed will be attached. Doesn't take very much. Now we're going to place the reed over the slot. Now we're going to use this tool, which is just a little bit narrower than the slot, to push the reed into the slot, allowing the 
scotch tape to come al up along the sides and the tip uh, in the clearance between the reed and the plate. And now you can see that scotch tape protruding from the clearance around the reed at the sides and at the tip. This is what aligns the reed in the slot. This is the soldering device. This is a carbon electrode that applies heat and current to the top of the reed. This is a copper electrode that contacts the bottom of the reed plate and completes the electrical circuit. This is a push button that applies power. When you push this button, current flows through this wire, down through the carbon electrode, through the reed and the plate and the solder to the carbon, I mean to the copper electrode and back to the current source. This only takes one or two or three seconds. I'm going to now put the read under the carbon electrode. By pushing down on the back of this arm, the copper electrode rises like that. I put the uh, center of the base of the reed under the carbon electrode and lower it like that. Now I can take my hands away. There is a spring pressure on the carbon electrode and everything is ready to solder. We apply current and heat to the base of the reed by pushing the black button for a few seconds like this. And that's all that's required. You... <clears throat> and now we have the reed securely attached by means of solder. And perhaps the camera will pick, it, pick up the plank.